I hope you're having a nice day. I'm here a little bit early this week because I'm reviewing the Great British Sewing Bee book. I agreed to have a look at the book and to have a go at making one of the patterns in the book. Yep, hey pops. Um, and so that's what I've done and I'm here to show you the results. Poppy's going to go down now if she said hello. So first before I stand up and show you um, what I'm wearing on my bottom half, um, this is the book. So this is the Great British Sewing Book from Stitch to Style. Great British Sewing Bee Book, sorry I said that wrong. Um, and it, oops, it comes with a, a patterns pack. So basically inside you've got all the patterns printed off. So that's great. Unfortunately, it's a lot of tracing, definitely, and there's a lot of lines, but um, it's nice to have everything um, printed and graded and included. And there are some lovely patterns in this, and I think out of my, it's my favorite out of the, um, the books that they've done so far. It's really well put together and some really stylish things, and the photography's great. I'll just show, show you a few of my favorites. So this is a bias cut top. But it's just really cool, the styling on it. I think it's really contemporary and fresh. really like that. It's a nice, simple little top. I thought this was also quite cool, which is um, a jumpsuit with a slightly more mature model, which I think is also nice. They've really mixed up the models. Um, and there's this, which is quite cool, which is making a top, or rather a dress, um, out of a sari. You can make it as a top or not. It's really nice. It's quite pretty. I think it'd be nice even if you don't have a sari. Just be quite a nice um, pattern to follow. And then there's also some sexy little nightwear, a little bit of a, a little camisole and a little short. And there is also a bra in here. There's jersey tops. There really is something for everyone. I have to say, it's really they've covered all bases. Um, and there is the thing that I have made, which did have a post-it note in it, but it's now come out. I have made the palazzo pants, so I will show you them. Before I do, I should just explain that I'm wearing them with um, my silk cami, which was one of my makes for May, um, which again I made ahead of time because I thought it would go really nicely with this combo when you're going to see what my bottom half is wearing. You'll see hopefully what I mean. But this is fabric that you can buy um, on our online shop. I'll pop the link in the comments below. And I also have a handmade necklace on, which is basically um, scrap fabric. And I um, created a tube and then thread it through a very chunky chain. So let me step back and show you my palazzo pants. So here they are. They're basically a very wide leg trouser. Move that door back so you can see. Here we are. Um, they're really simple, they've just got a little waistband, they've got a concealed zip at the side, um, they have little darts in at the back there for shaping, but they're not overly fitted. They're meant to obviously be fitted at the top, but they're meant to be really loose and wide-legged, and that makes them really easy to fit. So, um, yeah, they were a nice, easy make, and I think this fabric is perfect for them. This is um, our triple crepe, which we have in lots of colours, and I think that this it's like the, this pattern was designed for this fabric, or vice versa. It really is a great fabric for it because it's got a lot of weight to it, but it also has drape and it just looks really expensive. So I feel quite chic in these trousers. Um, so yeah, I really like them. So I basically got to choose um, which pattern I wanted to make. And for a reason that will become clear next week, I'm all about the trousers at the moment. So I was quite keen to try another person's trouser pattern. And also, um, you all know that I love the Decades of Style Empire Line trousers, which I wear all the time. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I wear a lot of them. And I figured this is quite similar to that. It's not as high-waisted, but um, it, it's a wide leg trouser and I like them. So I thought, why not give it a try? So I made the size 8, which is always nice because normally on trousers I'm a size 10, which brings me on to the fact that these sizes are very generous which is really nice, it's not a bad thing, but even the size eight was slightly too big for me around the waist. So um, I, they are meant to sit about four centimeters below your natural waist. Now my natural waist is here, so I think they're sitting a slightly higher than they're meant to, but that is what feels comfortable for me. And um, they have, I've had to take in about three centimeters on either side, so I just shaved off 
a centimetre and a half on the side seams, but obviously that accounts to three centimetres in total. No, sorry, ignore that. Yeah, three centimetres in total all the way around. <laughs> Having a bit of a maths moment. So I had to take in a little bit, and I also took in a little bit on the centre back because I have the way that my bottom is, it sticks out, and you create, I get a little kind of hole here and I have to fit into that, so it's a bit of a sway back. So um, it needed slight fitting issues, but I didn't have to change the darts, I just left them as is. So yeah, it was really easy. Um, they're very comfy. Um, I hand hem them because of the weight of the cloth, I think that was important. Um, yeah, I've got a side seam in there. There is a optional pocket, um, which I assume is for this side. I didn't actually look into it. I saw the pattern piece, but wasn't quite sure. I think it might be for, um, yeah, there's a hack as a clock. I wonder as well, you could move the, set, the zip to the back so that you've got a zip on the centre back and then that would mean you could have pockets at the side, so you could do that. Anyway, on to the instructions. The instructions, um, so you starts off and it's giving you design notes, so it tells you that they're wide leg trousers and they're meant to sit 4 centimetres below the waistline and so it's basically tells you how it should be, so you've got a zip on the left side, um, you can also, it says you can also use a regular zip instead. Um, you don't have to use a concealed zip, so it gives you the option of doing that. It tells you all the things you need. It says the difficulty level, beginner, intermediate. I'd say probably intermediate. I never think trousers are absolute beginner, so I'd say these are an intermediate pattern. Also, because the nature of the fabric you're using, you're not going to be using a cotton. You're going to have to use something that's a little bit harder to work with. So, yeah, I'd say definitely on the more intermediate side. You've got your finished measurements, which is great. Like all um, independent pattern companies, it's great that they've included that. And then it just goes on to instructions, um, simple instructions. And you'll see with the illustrations. Um, and it's got little tips um, throughout. Yeah, I, I found it really easy to follow, easy steps, nothing particularly too tricky about it. Um, interestingly, the I think they've done it just to make it obvious, but the zip stitching shows as top stitching, implying that it's a regular zip when actually it's meant to be a concealed zip. So I think that's just for them to make it easier for you to understand that there's a zip there in the illustration. But it can be a bit confusing because obviously if you put a concealed zip in, you don't really want to do top stitching at the sides. Um, obviously if you put a regular zip in, then that makes more sense. But that was the only thing that I thought might be a bit confusing for people. And then it has got a follow-on that you can hack it. So um, it's got clots, so you can do a good version of it with clots, which is quite cool. So yeah. I liked it, definitely liked it, and I thought that the you know, trousers are a very hard thing to get the, the fit right, um, so as a pattern designer it's a bit of a minefield making sure that you choose something that's got the right balance and it's not going to cause too many problems, although everyone will have to do some sort of fitting because we're all such different shapes, but the fact that we need to do minimal fitting, that's really good. And I think the style of the trouser lends itself to that because it is loose, it's not overly fitted, so it may, means it's easier. So as long as you choose the right fabric, I think you'll find this um, a really nice pattern to use. That is my review. So thumbs up. I obviously can't speak for the rest of the patterns in the book. I haven't made those, but I definitely think that this is a really nice pattern. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing if this is going to be featured on the show. I'm recording this on a Monday, so um, you guys will be seeing it hopefully on Wednesday. I haven't actually seen the show yet, so I'll be watching it tonight, but um, hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully it was a good one. I'm looking forward to seeing who's on it this year and what the challenges will be. And of course, meeting the new judge, which I've forgotten her name. This is embarrassing. Esme, that's right, Esme. Looking forward to seeing Esme and what, what she adds to the mix. Um, but yeah, that's everything. So um, that's my vlog for this week, guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed to us, I know I say this quite a lot, but do um, subscribe to us if you haven't already. Um, we're coming up to 8,000 subscribers, which is really exciting. Um, I'm getting very excited about the 10,000 mark, because um, I think that would be massive, and I didn't think we'd get there as quickly as we look like we're going. So um, please keep subscribing and tell anyone who loves sewing about it if you think they might be interested. Um, I will be next week um, announcing something very exciting, a new thing coming into um, 
The Wild, that's so over it, so tune in next week for that. And I've also got my makes, I still haven't finished them, but I've got the rest of my makes to finish off to show you as well. So that's it, I hope you're all having lovely days, enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!